Hi guys, I've got some great news for you guys with an LG G5. Thanks to hardworking XDA developers, we can now root the T-Mobile LG G5. I just rooted my LG G5. Let me go show you how to do it. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, the first thing you will want to do um, is make sure you have uh, the correct model of LG G5. Now this root method is only for the T-Mobile LG G5. Uh, if you go under software info, you should see uh, H830. Right? It should start with H830. If you have a T-Mobile LG G5, you should be good to go. And this is root method. Um, it should work in the future also. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer, all right? Go and hit the back button twice. Now you will have developer options. Go ahead and tap on that. Go ahead and hit OK. Make sure enable OEM unlock is checked on, all right? You may have to enter your NOC code. Enable, all right, make sure that's checked on, then you're ready to go. All right, after that, make sure USB debugging is checked on, all right? This should be checked on. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our computer. You will need a Windows computer for this. Uh, for the first part, you may be able to use Mac or Linux, but I do recommend getting Windows computer. Go ahead and connect it to your computer via USB Type-C cable, and let's go to our computer. All right, guys, next, you'll need to download a bunch of files uh, and unzip a bunch of files. So first, go ahead and download Beta Super SU. Go ahead and download that. Go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download lg830dll.msi. Go ahead and download this file here, lgh830 blah blah fullroot.zip. All right, go ahead and download lg up. This is the software for installing stock firmware. No verify opt encrypt.zip. And also lg, um, this is drivers for lg g5. So go ahead and download all of these files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have the link to all these files on my site. So go check out my site, lgg5root.com. Once you have downloaded all these files, go ahead and unzip fastboot.zip, double click it, extract all files. Um, you should have a folder called fastboot, all right? Also, um, go ahead and double click on uh, this file here to install the drivers. Now this is the driver for installing stock firmware. You also need to install the regular drivers, which is the LG United mobile driver, blah, blah, dot. Yeah, see, double click that, install that. Also double click on LGUP to install the LGUP program. Um, for this file here, go ahead and double click and extract all files and you'll get a file ending in dot dot. Um, you'll see that I have a folder called LGH838T blah blah dot zip. Oh, sorry, blah blah. And you'll see a dot dot file in there. Once you have done all of that, um, go ahead and double check that uh, your drivers have been installed correctly. You may have to unplug your phone and uh, plug it back in if it gets stuck. Simply do that. Go to Device Manager and you should have um, something like this here, LGE Mobile ADB Interface. If you don't see this, um, you don't have proper drivers installed. But if you see LGE Mobile ADB Interface, you're good to go. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. So go to search uh, and type CMD. Next here, we're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, hit enter. Go ahead and type CD fastboot dot enter. All right, um, next we're gonna go ahead and type ADB space reboot space uh, bootloader, like that, okay? But go ahead and open your phone, all right? Um, it's gonna ask you to enable uh, ADB, hit enter. All right, go ahead and always allow from this computer, hit OK. All right, if you didn't do it fast enough, you may have to retype it. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader again, and this will boot you into the bootloader, All right? And you should be in bootloader here. All right, um, next you'll have to, you may have to reinstall the drivers. Go back to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Device Manager. Now, if you see this sign here, go ahead and double click it, hit Update Driver, browse my computer for software, do let me pick from a list of device drivers, um, show all devices, click next, go to have disk, go to browse, and go to your program files, x86, go to LG Electronics, 
go to LG Mobile Driver, and go ahead and just choose LG and Bus here. Try that. Did it okay? All right, um, and you'll get a bunch of options here. Um, go ahead and go down to LG Mobile ADB Interface. Click Next. Say Yes. And you should see LGE Mobile ADB Interface. Now, you may not have to do this, but on my Windows 7, I had to do it manually. Um, once you see that, you're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Go ahead and type fast boot space OEM space bootloader. Oh, sorry. Unlock. This will unlock your bootloader. Erase everything on your phone. That's what happens when you unlock a bootloader. Go ahead and hit enter. It says erasing user data and cache. All right. That has unlocked your bootloader. All right. It just doesn't say. Okay, now what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the battery out real quick. All right, pull the battery out so we can reset it. Put it back in. We're going to go ahead and hold down volume up and then plug in the USB Type-C cable to your computer. All right. And you should now be in firmware update. All right, don't worry about the corruption, whatever. Just leave it alone. Uh, you should see firmware update. All right, next, um, you're going to go ahead and run the LG up. If you have installed it, double clicked on it before, you should have LG up in your uh, program files. Go ahead and click on that. Say yes. All right, you should see this screen uh, with the H8301. We're going to go ahead and hit this button here all right and we're gonna go ahead and go to our downloads folder go into the folder where you unzip the dot top file and go ahead and choose the dot top file here all right hit open and go ahead and hit start all right this will flash the stock firmware with root and you will have a fully rooted uh, LG G5 with twerp recovery. Just give it a second here. Just take five minutes, go have some coffee, and we'll continue this. All right, 100%. It should be done. You should be back to a complete start. All right, next, just go ahead and pull the battery out. We don't want to let it reboot. We don't need to. Next, what you're going to do is put it back in. You're going to go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button. All right. And when you see the logo, let go of the power button and hit it back again real quick. All right. And if you did it right, you'll get into this menu. I did it wrong. Let me show you again. Go ahead and hold down volume down power. Let go of the power and hit it again while holding down the volume down. All right. If you did it correctly, you should be here. All right, this is uh, the factory uh, reset. Don't worry about it. Um, go ahead and say yes and hit power. All right, and also say yes here. This will not erase. This will boot you into Torp, the new Torp recovery um, that is here now. All right, give it a second here. And you should now be in Torp recovery. Go ahead and um, just keep read only. Oops. And what you're going to do is go to wipe. Go to format data. All right, say yes. And when that's done, hit the home button, hit reboot, hit uh, recovery. All right, this should put you back into a tour of recovery. All right, now go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Go ahead and connect it to your computer. All right, next you want to copy over the two files, um, the beta super as you know, verify. Now you should be able to connect it to as a disk drive in twerp mode, but for some reason, if it doesn't work, uh, right now, for some reason, it's not working. I'm going to go ahead and use a micro SD card and I'm going to simply go ahead and copy over these two files, copy and paste. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and insert my SD card in here. All right, the reason is that once you boot, it's gonna encrypt, and that's why you need to flash these files without rebooting, and you gotta do it all in twerp. 
Um, otherwise you will end up in the boot loop. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe. Now go ahead and go to install. Go ahead and select storage. Go ahead and choose micro SD card. Hit okay. I'm gonna go ahead and install no verify OPD encrypt. Swipe to flash. All right, this will allow you to install uh, Super SU without causing problems. Go ahead and click on beta Super SU, blah, blah, that's it. Confirm this will actually root your device. All right, and that's pretty much it. Reboot, you should have a fully rooted T-Mobile LG G5 and you will have a great day. Um, you only have to do this once, pretty obviously, once you root it, um, you wanna stay rooted. And what we did basically is we basically installed a stock firmware. All right, basically what we did is install stock firmware uh, with uh, Torp recovery. And then once we have Torp recovery, we were able to install um, SuperSU and reboot and voila. And make sure you root today, if you're ever gonna root, I mean, I do highly recommend it. When this phone gets old, like the LG G3, I know a lot of you didn't root it back in Lollipop, and you may be stuck without root. Uh, my LG G3 is already running LG G5 software, um, thanks to that. All right, and you should see welcome screen. I'm getting a lot of errors. All right, if this happens, something went wrong, we're gonna go ahead and reboot into Twerp and simply do a factory reset and reinstall the root files. So go ahead and unplug it. All right, put it back in. Volume down, center home. Let go of the power and put it, hold it back. Let go and hold it back. Once you're here, say yes. Say yes, hit the power button. Uh, go back into Twerp. We're going to do a factory reset and try to reinstall everything here. All right, do a wipe, factory reset. Hit next, install. Um, go ahead and install no verify. And go ahead and install beta super SU. Now, if you didn't get those four close errors, you should be good to go. But this should help clear up uh, whatever is wrong and we should be good to go. I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm rooting my LG G5. All right, don't worry about the uh, corruption. That's because you have root. And boom shakalaka, no errors. Uh, what happened is when we reinstalled the stock firmware, it wiped everything, uh, but something was wrong. It was still a little bit iffy. And now we don't get any errors and let's go ahead and let me go ahead and sign in through all of this and hopefully we'll have full root here working. Let's see if we have super SU. You should have super SU. Go ahead and run it once. Ah. Go ahead and run it once. And if you get no errors, you're good to go. You're fully rooted. Let me go ahead and sign in and download a rooted app to show you I have a full root. All right, moment of the truth, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Titanium Backup app, which I highly recommend, and boom, shakalaka. Should have fully rooted um, device. All right, that's pretty much it. Obviously, everything's been reset. Um, hopefully, you made a backup. Go ahead and restore everything. Uh, once you have a rooted phone, you can go ahead and backup all of your apps uh, using Titanium Backup app. Uh, my data, everything is working just fine, um, so you should be good to go. I should have a guide on how to unroot, uh, unbrick, reinstall stock firmware also. Um, go check that out. I'll have it up shortly on my site, uh, lgg5root.com. That's my new site. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to donate to the XCA developer, Tongue Kick. He's the one who figured out how to do this. Pretty awesome stuff. We're just gonna be waiting for custom ROMs now. There's gonna be awesome ROMs for the LGG5, I'm sure. I'll be updating them in my new site, lgg5root.com. Go ahead and sign up for our email list if you want to be notified of future ROMs. That's pretty much it. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe. All right, perfect.